Jordan Byers and welcome to a day in my life. <laughs> Basically, I just filmed my Pennywise It makeup tutorial and I just finished that. It literally took me like four hours. It's now noon, lunchtime, so your girl is hungry. It is time for me to take this day makeup off. But I thought it would be fun to show you guys the process of taking it off. Oh my gosh, this hurts. Uh, okay. All right, I'm gonna put this in fast motion, but this is gonna take me a long time. actually kind of hilarious. <laughs> Ew. Good morning. I am in traffic. It is 9.08 in the morning. I have class from 9.30 in the morning till 7.15 at night. But I'm um, literally trying to get anywhere in the morning and like after three o'clock here, impossible, impossible. Like I'm literally, th this school is literally six miles away from my apartment, but it still takes me 25 minutes to get there every morning. Like, come on guys. We're all trying to get to work here. We're all trying to go to school here. Like, let's go, come on. Keep it moving. But yeah, I have a long day today. I packed myself a lunch. It is so loud. Let me close that. Um I have three classes today, and each one is three hours. And then in between the in between my classes, I have um a 45-minute lunch and dinner break. So we're going all day. We're going lunch and dinner today at school. So I packed myself a lunch and then I'm planning on postmating my dinner from somewhere around this school just because I did not pack myself a dinner. And I, pro I it would probably be a gross dinner anyway and I would be sitting there like all starving and everything. But I really like my outfit today. I'm wearing this really cute, um, it looks like it's, it like the style of it is like a leather jacket, like with the, just the style of it is what leather jackets usually look like, but it's like a really cool like cotton, or not cotton, but it's just like a black material and I really like it. And then I'm wearing like green pants, um, high-waisted pants that tie in like a really cute like it's like ruffled I'll show you guys later and then I'm wearing some heeled booties so I low-key feel like Kim Possible from Disney Channel but that's all right I love I love it I love this outfit I'm feeling myself um oh my gosh you guys my mattress is coming in today <laughs> I'm so happy my mattress is coming today Oh my gosh. Honestly, I hate California drivers because everybody is just like trying to cut each other. Like, can't we just all do this in a uniformed way? Why do you got, no buddy, you're not coming up here and trying to, no, you just cut like 30 people. Like, are you kidding me? You're not, no, no, you go behind me, little BMW. <laughs> little BMW, get behind me, buddy. I'm not letting you in. You just cut like 30 people going on that little straightaway that like merges into another lane. Like, no, I don't play those types of games. I really don't. And I'm not playing it with you today, honey. 
Uh uh. Oh, you pretty little blonde lady. I'm not playing with you today. Uh uh. Uh uh. I don't play those games. Um. Oh my gosh, my mattress is coming today. My mom is coming to my apartment to pick it up because obviously I have class all day long. I won't be able to, you know, like be there to have my mattress put in my apartment. So my mom is being super kind and is gonna be there and set up my mattress. And I think she's gonna put like sheets on it and everything. She is so nice. Like my mom is the type of lady that she doesn't do anything half booty you know what I mean like she doesn't do anything 50% she does everything 100% 110% so I already know my mom's gonna walk into my apartment and be like oh my gosh there's crumbs on the ground and then she's gonna pull out my vacuum and like vacuum everything like that's just the type of lady she is or she'll like see that I like have laundry in the dryer or dishes in my dishwasher that I just wash and she'll like put them away for me. Like that's the type of lady she is. Um, obviously I'm not, I'm, I'm not expecting her to do those types of things. Like I obviously like can clean up after myself. Um, but that's just, I'm just trying to explain like who she is. Like, so yeah. <clears throat> So yeah, I'm gonna come home and I'm gonna have a beautiful mattress set up with all of my, my duvet on there, my beautiful covers. Cause I brought, I brought my duvet cover and like my big sham pillows and sham covers and like all of my like really nice sheets from home so that I didn't have to spend, so I didn't have to drop like 250 on a new duvet, new pillows, new shams, new, you know, cover sets and everything. So I have all of that ready and I'm just really excited because I've been sleeping on that dang blow up mattress for almost two weeks now. Almost two weeks. I'm so excited to have a real mattress. <laughs> Actually, it has been two weeks. Two weeks and a couple of days. Mm, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I don't know. Anyways, I just, I could use a mattress. And I could use my, my comfy sheets and duvet from home. Do you ever have an attachment to like your sheets? Or like your duvet? Like the, I'm so weird. I have an attachment to my duvet. Like, my duvet and my duvet cover from home like that I've had for like three four years that's like mine like it I have a bonding with it it's so warm it's so cozy I, I'm the type of person where I have sheets and then I have like a big fluffy blanket and then a huge duvet and then maybe even another fluffy blanket on top and then I've got like three decorative shams in the back and then two sleeping pillows like sleeping pillows like that's how extra I am with my bedding and I got that from my mom because she um, she is a decorator or she got her license to be a decorator so she's super into that stuff so I've always had like the full nine on my bed and stuff like that so I've had like sometimes I'll have like five decorative pillows on my bed like the whole bed skirt thingy my bob going on like that's 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 how that's how my mom is so she would always do that for me and now I'm very particular with my bed like the way it's set up because I love to have a lot of pillows I love to have a lot of covers and then of course because I have so many covers I have a standing fan in my room because obviously it's gonna get a little toasty Ooh. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, so obviously it's gonna get toasty under all of those covers. So I have a fan blowing on me so that I can snuggle up in my covers. And I love it. I'm so excited. Like you guys don't understand. I'm so stinking excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to have my bed set up. Ah, and I think my um my headboard is coming in today too. I got a really pretty like uh, gray headboard. It's it's like a 
French style headboard with all the little like I'll show you guys later but I've been talking for eight minutes about my my bed like come on Jordan come on I swear in LA or California traffic if you want to get into a lane you literally have to cut people off like there is no like putting your blinker on or flashing somebody ahead of you and being like uh, come over I'm letting you in. Uh-uh. There's none of that. If you want to get into a different lane, you have to cut people off. And I feel so bad doing that because in Ohio, people, like, wait for you. They flash their headlights at you so that you can, like, oh, go ahead. And then people wave, like, oh, thanks so much. None of that here. None of that. So I feel like every single time I'm driving, I feel like road rage is just at the top of everybody's mind like oh this girl's doing full on contour over here dang she's beating her face in the car driving on the highway that is dangerous girl that is dangerous but you guys the amount oh I was driving yesterday and like of course these people don't let me in and I have to get places so I cut this girl off and she smashed on her on her horn and just like held up her middle finger at me for like a good minute and I was like are you kidding me lady I've, I've been having my blinker on for five minutes I need to get over to get off this dang exit and she was like Meh. and I was like excuse me just let me over in the lane like <laughs> we're not playing these games I don't play these games. I'm from Ohio. I don't play games. I don't let people mess around. Mm, none of that. So, yeah. 10 minute rambling of random stuff. <sighs> I'm about to be at school. Actually, I'm not. I'm still on the highway. 2.8 miles equals about 10 minutes on the highway. <laughs> We're finally actually moving some, so that's good. So... I think I've said all I need to say. I'll be back. I'll show you guys my outfit. I'll show you guys my bed later. I'm so excited! <laughs> Hello. I'm so tired. I literally want to fall asleep right now. I just went to Starbucks. Well, I'm still at Starbucks, but I'm in my car now. I've had two classes so far, and they're not bad classes. Ow. Ow. They're just so long. And I actually have speech class today, and I was really nervous about speech class because I had speech class in high school, and it wasn't bad. It's just I hate giving speeches. I hate like getting up in front of people and delivering a speech. Everybody's looking at you. It's too much. It's too freaking much. But my uh, teacher is actually like really chill and it doesn't seem like it'll be a bad class. There's only 10 people in my class so it's not like I have to stand up in front of a hundred students. And I'm, I don't know. I know I can do it. I just don't like doing it. Like, I'm not going to volunteer to give a speech. But I'll do it. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm low-key glad that I'm taking it because it's, it's, it's the art of communication, effective speaking. So, well, it's not called speech class. It's called effective speaking. And literally speaking is what I do for my job. Literally, I do effective speeching every day, and I get paid for it to speak. So, I feel like this might be a really good class for me, even though I don't speak, like, in front of people. I just speak to a camera. I don't know. I think it'll... I don't know. I don't know. If I ever, you know, go to an event or have to speak in front of people, I'll have some background knowledge, so... I guess this is a pretty beneficial class. I just hate the fact that I have to take it. I mean, I, eh. mm. 
Oh, I'm so tired. I have one more class. It's a branding and marketing class. So I had English and speech today. And then my last class is something that will be like relevant to my major, which will be interesting. I'm excited to have it. And then tomorrow I have, what do I have tomorrow? Oh, I have an art class, color, color theory. That's what it is. So I'm tired though. It is 4.07. It is time for me to wind down, but no, I got another three hour class in like 20 minutes, so I gotta go. <laughs> I'm finally home. I just picked up my packages from the mail room and I see my bed. I finally have a bed. <laughs> I'm so happy and my mom also hung up some pictures in my room so I picked out these pictures um, like I had them I bought all the picture frames and stuff but I didn't set them up because my mom is really good at that type of stuff so she set up my little pictures and I'm so happy I have a bed and she vacuumed the carpet oh my gosh cuz I have um, I have a teeny, 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 tiny little vacuum. Like it's a little vacuum shark or shark vac or something like that. Dust or dust devil. Oh, it's a dust devil. It's literally like so tiny. It's like this big. Doesn't pick up anything. So I think it looks like my mom brought her vacuum and vacuumed to my place. I'm so happy. Thank you, mom. I love you. Oh, she wrote me cute little 